Welcome everybody, my name is Tommy T 9 and this is the Rainbow Six Siege Top 10 Kills of the Week. We start with the so near, but yet so far of the week, coming from Slightly Grim G. He's all over this round, all alone now. One just left, he manages to take him down as well. Can he defuse? He's all over it. But unfortunately for him, he is just not there in time and they lose the round. Into the 10 we move, first up at 10, it's SOS Hakamori with Pistol Whipping. Time to work his way down the stairwell. Hold on though. Enemy in sight gets bullets to the head. Two more charge in. They both get taken down with headshots as well, which leaves just one enemy remaining who gets taken out by his teammate. And that is a true MVP performance. Next up at 9, it's Luca with Pulse Ninja. Takes out that camera and then takes down the first enemy, bringing it to a 3 versus 4 situation. Gets no joy with that Nitro, so we've sped it up now. Pulse is now out. He started to spot the enemies. 4 remaining, you can see 2 there. There's number 3, and that could be all 4 in the same place. So now is the time to strike. He knows the layout. He knows exactly where they were heading. He can now hear bullets. And now it's time. So yeah, you didn't see that coming, my friend. And unfortunately for these two, you can lie down, but you'll be staying laying down because you're now dead. And yeah, last one goes down as well, and that is the round win. Number eight, this is Timmy Time 9 with Sledge Surprise. It is match point. He is all alone, so he needs this round to keep them in it. And he has four opponents. Sledges the door. Takes the first two down. That was truly a surprise. Then charges in to get two more as well. And they are now back in this game. Number seven. It's Danger Wovac 33 with I Spy with My Little Eye. Playing here as Valkyrie. Has used the additional camera to spot the enemies. Puts up another one just in case he needs it, but has managed to get there in time. They're still in the same position. Two go down. Number three is trying to defuse. He's managed to do that. He's set the defuser up, but he's been taken down. So after taking the last enemy down, all that's left for Danger Wovac to do is take down the defuser. And that's the round win. Number six this week. Behind you, behind you. It's Monster 7 3 Baby with Beast Mode on. Gets the call from his teammates, picks up two headshots. There's a third headshot. Now got it down to a one versus one. Other enemy flanks across the door. He can't take him down there, but don't worry. He soon takes him down. Another headshot. Taking a break from the top ten, these are the explosives of the week. Number five, it's Patex484. Puts up the barricade. Door secured. Now, Deploying heartbeat, sensor. heartbeat sensor is out. He can see at least one or two above him. So up goes the charge. Double checks they're still there. Takes down three from underneath them. Number four, it's Mikdon 15. Explosion coming from the stairwell. Makes his way over. In goes the smoke. In goes the charge. He's been flashed, but he's exploded as well. Hold on, no way. He has literally taken down all four enemies without probably even knowing about it because he was flashed. Number three goes to Murder Riser Mario. And after those first two, this is match point. It's overtime match point. It's four all in rounds. Playing as Valkyrie again. Everyone is loving this new character alongside Blackbeard. And here they come. At least one. So in goes the charge, and he gets both. Comes into the explosive because anything with more than one kill with an explosive goes into the explosive kills of the week. Number two goes to God's Socom. We're here on the plane. Again, it's match point. But he's trying to do all he can to take this to overtime. That charge gets three of them, and just one remains. And that one does not last very long. And that is round six. There's 
But number one goes to Mexican Sniper. Great work there to take down two. Another long distance shot down to the other end of their plane gets the third. Two more in. Takes out the camera. This is great work. This could all be on them. This could be the match. And again, as I say, to be into the explosive kills, you need more than one. And that is more than one. That's the round win in the match. Back to the top ten we go. Number five, it's Morrow 11 with no boarding pass needed. Doesn't even need to get on the plane to take down the first enemy. Hey, like, like Quagmire said, God bless America. He only has one teammate remaining and four enemies to take down. But hold on. You see where he's run? Now, sneaky shot through the window. There's another one straight there as well. Switches to the pistol, takes him down. Now 2v2. Sees another one through the window. Brilliant shot, 2v1, just one remaining. And he has just turned up there as well to take him down, and that is the round win. Number four. It's toasted with heads up. Charges on the wall. The wall explodes, and as soon as that explodes, two enemies taken down with headshots. Number three follows very quickly, as does number four. All of them headshots. Can he get the ace with a ace full of headshots? Yes, he can. Number three. This is X-Ray Alpha 19 with, you can't leave without a tip. Charge goes in, gets nothing, and now he is all alone. Now three remakes, he's just taken one down. He's getting the calls from his teammates. They have the hostage, they're on the move. He's being told to turn around and go back. He quickly does that, turns, takes down one, takes down the second that's grabbed the hostage, and comes in with a knife and gets the round win. Runner up this week at number two, it's PRSN Nico with only a deal in headshots. Left all alone, Blackbeard comes in and just gets annihilated. They keep on coming, another one falls, and yes to the headshot. A little bit more distance on that one, and he didn't even see him there, and 1v1, that is ridiculous. Overtime match point, all taken down with headshots, and all taken down in literally 20 to 25 seconds. But taking the number one spot this week, this is Osek Synax with single health destruction. He's been left in a terrible position of one versus four. He's managed to take down two enemies with headshots, but he's now left with just one health. So he's in 2v1 situation, he's got one piece of health. Surely the upper hand is with the enemies, but no, he has just managed to down one of them. So now in theory it is a one versus one. Everything on the line. Match point. One health though, so he is still in such predicament, he needs to make sure his accuracy is on point. Enemy comes running in, accuracy is on point, takes him down, just leaves that last downed enemy. And yeah, he's gonna rub it in. Some people won't like it, some people will love the fact that he's done that. But hey, with one piece of health left, maybe he deserves it. So there you go, that concludes this week's top 10. Thank you to everybody who has sent me in their clips, you're all truly awesome. Keep them coming, it could be you next week. If you want to, just leave the link to yours in the comments below. If you don't agree on which is your favourite, let me know in the comments as well. Plus, if you want to know what the Star Wars Rebel base looks like from The Force Awakens, I've got a brand new drone, it's linked on screen there. Check it out, it looks stunning. So there you go, that completes this. Thank you to all your support, and I will speak to you again in the next one.